Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video I will explain the process of how I made this woodpecker animation scene. So let's get started. The first step is to find a good reference video to start your work. There are a lot of sites on the internet, where you can find different kinds of reference videos, like Getty Images, Shutterstock, Pond5. So I got this reference image from Getty Images. Once you find a suitable reference video to start your work, then the next step is to find a rig. The rig which I used is a free woodpecker rig made by Mothman TD. Thanks a lot to the awesome artist for this great rig which is available free on his site. The link of this site is provided on the description below. In the next step, I opened this rig in Maya, and then I had to change the texture of the rig to match with the reference. For that, I had to change the body texture in Photoshop to match with the reference and then applied the texture to the rig. And now for the next step, I had to set up the camera. So for that, I did a camera track on After Effects for this reference video. And then with the help of AE 3D Export, which is a free script for After Effects, I exported out the camera track for Maya. Now over here, I will not go for details how to export the camera track for Maya. It's a completely different topic to cover. I will create a separate video on this topic in the future, so stay tuned. Now the next step is to import the camera on Maya. So here I got the camera track, along with the locators which will determine the positions. Now if I go to camera view, and drag along the timeline, you can see there is camera animation. I will lock this camera so that the animation in the camera does not get changed. And then I will select all these locators, and create a group, then rename this group as locators. And then select the camera and the locator group and create another group, then rename it as scene. And then we can select this scene group and move then to another location without disturbing the actual camera animation. In the next step I imported the reference video through the camera view. You can use the image sequences or movie file to import the reference. I have the .mov file which I will open up here. And after that in the first frame of the timeline, I will create the main branch model with the help of a cylinder. Placing it along the locators, and matching with the shape of the reference image. And now if you turn on the x-ray mode, you can see that it is matching with the reference video. After that, I started blocking out the main poses of the bird, matching with the reference video. First I made the extreme poses where there are big movements as per the reference. And I like to start the blocking poses in step tangent mode, cause it gives me the idea where exactly the poses are changing. I don't go for much detailing in the blocking stage, rather I prefer to make those main extreme poses and keep everything simple. And once I am happy with the main extreme poses, then I started creating the in-between poses. I added poses by observing the reference, where there are big changes in the movements. I added keys, where there is starting of the action, then holding the pose till the end of that action. And again changing in the pose, and then holding that pose again. 
and like that continued for each big changes in the movement. And this time also I am keeping the keys in step tangent mode, to keep it clean and simple. And after that, once I am satisfied with strong blocking poses, I started working on splining up the shot. In this step, I added more poses, and this time I worked on auto tangent mode, so it helps me to get the basic in between poses. And then I can tweak them as per the reference, to match the timing and spacing of each part of the body, one by one. And next, I started polishing out the shot, adding more details, like adjusting the timings to add more weight to the bird. And then continued polishing up the shot by adding more details, like delays in the head and chest areas, subtle movements in the claws, avoiding any penetrations happening with the branch model. And also I animated the branch, to add more realistic feeling of interacting with the bird's movement. And after I am satisfied with the animation, next I textured out the branch by applying an image of bark texture to the AI standard surface material. And applied the same image on the bump map to add the details on the texture. After that I added some area lights and a sky dome light with HDRI on it to light up the scene. And then, exported out the image sequences, with Arnold Renderer in PNG format, so that the background is not visible on any of the image sequences, so that later on, I have the freedom to add any background to the scene. Then finally, I imported all the image sequences into After Effects. And then, added a video of a forest, in the background. After that, I applied some color corrections, and some motion blur to both the videos. And finally on top of it, I added lens flare, and a little bit of tint effect to add some more vibrant on the scene. There are no hard and fast rule for all these settings, it's completely my personal choice. I did some trial and error and ultimately got into this. So guys, I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.